throughout your time, did you ever cross paths with Pimp C? Oh yeah, yeah. I remember they started. Right. I was around. See, Russell had big time records. Mm -hmm. Russell Washington, yeah. R.I.P. R.I.P. And um, he was the original person to sign UGK. Right. And big time records was not a label in the beginning. It was a record shop. Right. In the flea market, King's Flea Market. Mm -hmm. When when me and Dope had a project out called COD, we dropped that in 1990. Mm -hmm. We had cassettes and vinyl. And we had cassettes and vinyl, we would take the cassettes and vinyl to record shops yeah. to sell on consignment. You know, if people don't know what consignment is, that when you take five or 10 CD to the store, you give them to them in advance, they sell them and they pay you, y'all split the cut or whatever. But um, Russell Washington, he started his record label because of what he saw us doing with COD. You know, with uh, Radical Records, which was the label we had at the time. And the first group he signed was UGK. Yeah. Now, I don't know how he found them, because they was from Port Arthur, but he used to bring uh, Pimp and Bond around all the time when they were just starting out. And it was crazy because um, you already knew early on that they had something. It was early on, and, and Pimp, Pimp always had that confidence about himself. Always, from day, from the beginning, he had that confidence about himself. And Bond always had that lyrical, um, technical skill about it. So the way he raps now is the same way he rapped back in the day. Right. So it, it was kind of um, one of those situations where you kinda, you knew that they was on that they was gonna make it. They was gonna well, make yeah, it. yeah, that character too. Oh, yeah. Like, oh yeah, you knew, you knew. It was yeah. from, from day one. They, they, we used to be around them all the time. 